here. Uh, my brother and my buddy Daryl came up here, I guess yesterday, which I had forgotten about. They had asked me to come months ago and I said I don't, don't think I could make it. But this morning, I got out of my shower, getting ready for work, and my phone rings and it's them FaceTiming going, ha ha, wish you were here. And uh, I got dressed and I said, I will be there. So I thought about it for about eight seconds, grabbed my bag, threw my stuff in, canceled my plans for the next two days, and here I am. And uh, should be good. They have absolutely no idea that I'm here. They're in a tin boat with a motor and they went in by a four wheeler. I got to hike in a kilometer with my canoe, but uh, that's fine. And so sometimes you just got to grab that opportunity when it shows up. And uh, luckily, I have a fantastic wife who just said, go. So I went and uh, here I am and uh, here we go and here's the water Whew. I'm sweating to death <laughs> all right on the water I think the wind is uh, okay for now I just took 10,000 earwigs out of the seat in my canoe they made their home there I guess at my place Whew. Sweating. Okay. Gotta love uh, single carry portaging. I don't know if you guys can do it, do it. It made it so much easier. I've told the story before a few times probably, but uh, the first time I ever came here was with Daryl, and we had a 14 foot aluminum boat and a 9.9 .9 horse motor, about 20 gallons of gas. And uh, we had to carry it all by hand. We didn't have a four-wheeler back then, or Daryl didn't. He does now. But back in those days, we carried it. It was six trips each way, carrying half a 14-foot aluminum boat, uh, a 10-horse motor, 20 gallons of gas, back and forth with backpacks, and it was crazy. So in the last 10 years or so, I've lightened my load down that I can just throw on a pack throw a canoe on my head and uh, go and I wouldn't have it any other way now I love the canoe I love the silence I don't like the the running motor and all that goes with it just me and my paddle and the canoe just the way I like it just make my way up the river haven't even got to the, the main part of the lake and uh, the winds I wouldn't say it's an issue, but it'll be interesting. Feels good though. You can see I'm soaked with sweat. Beautiful day. So they call them for about a uh, high of 31. No rain in the forecast. I'm just here for about 30 hours, so it's going to be good. I don't think I'm going to set out to, to set any record bass catching numbers or anything i'm just gonna relax a little bit i would like to uh tonight try and uh jig up some walleyes or a pickerel for the canadians in us i always uh i always ignore the uh the walleye fishing in the evening here but time will tell for now i got lots of paddling to do before i can find the boys Kind of lifts me up and carries me along. This sure beats working, even if it's only for a short time. What a good idea, Doug. So the next island up here is uh, where the boys should be camped. I think I'll just cruise up in behind here and uh, see if they're there. There's no reason that they would be there in the middle of the day. They're probably out fishing, but you never know. So I'll just stealthily make my way up.
guys, you uh, what? Mope it around, slow motion. Do, do, do. When I just woke up and just had a nap. I was just putting uh, potatoes on for supper. <laughs> That's too funny. Oh, wait. All right. Coming ashore. Surprised? Yes, I was totally surprised. I'm sitting here in my chair and I just happen to look up and I go, What the heck? That's my brother Doug. Why is you he know, doing it here by Lake? You know, Daryl from uh, last year's, this is brother A. A. Number one. Number one. Came at the perfect time. Supper's getting ready. I got fish. Batter, vegetables for some reason, and the oil's getting, it's getting hot, so gonna eat some food before we go out and fish. Pesky little red squirrels are into the food. I think I've invaded the right camp. Look at that. Chef Boy or Andy. Time to set up camp. Done. It's more than 20 bucks. <laughs> These silly boys. This has the uh, little straps to hold the pad down in place. And just throw the bag in. What I like about this bag too with the uh, the center zip basically you just uh, slide in I'm going to uh, move this beside the fire when everybody goes to bed so for now it's just temporary but that's it home for the night abandoning the uh, the canoe for the evening fish going out with the boys to Catch some big ones. Mm -hmm. 
Oh yeah, it's a thicker one. That's a stick. stick. You have stick soup. Love stick soup. One down. Here let's go one. I'm just filming everybody. Oh my goodness, Daryl, you're the man. Fill it that full. I only put a couple of coffees in that tree, but the end. Coffee in the boat. All right, is that a fish? No, well, that's, well, that's not really. That's bait. Put a bobber on there. <laughs> Back up there. Bedtime snack. All right. Well, it's probably midnight, but before we go to bed, we got to play that game. Shine the water and see what we see. So let's go down to the water and uh, have a peek. Right there. There we go. See it? Another fishy. Oh, there's a perch. The perch. 
right there the stripes Fish. <laughs> the spider. The crayfish. Oh, there's a big perch. About four inches long, this one. Yeah. Alright, I just moved my baby beside the fire and uh, I'm going to bed, so. See you in the morning. I guess there is an advantage to uh, bringing a boat, big coolers and stoves. Instead of oatmeal packets. What you making, Daryl? More of our famous toasted buns in the morning. Peanut butter jam. Well, that's breakfast. Uh, these guys are going to head over to uh, another lake, and I'm going to go try and find that lake that I found last year, and then just uh, slowly make my way down and uh, out. So, against the wind. Against the wind today. What was my friend yesterday is uh, my enemy today starting to pick up but hasn't been too bad so should be fine. Goodbye. Bye Doug. Thanks for coming to visit. Goodbye. Bye Dougie. Thanks for coming to visit us. <laughs> Alright. Time to hit the lake and uh, go play. See ya boys. There they go. And I'm headed this way. Not sure how this is going to pan out for me. Last year I just squeaked through and the uh, the water is uh, about two feet about two feet lower than it was before. So hopefully there's still a, a bit of a channel I can uh, make my way through. But only one way to find out. The problem is you really can't even portage to it because it's winding through like a couple hundred acre, uh, just a real uh, wet bog. So there's just a little channel running through. 
the whole thing is probably floating, but you can't uh, just pick up and portage into the lake. Oh shoot! I just came up and I thought, is that a stump? There's a bear right 10 feet off the shore here. He just went crashing. I tried to get my camera on fast enough and I missed it all. At least I think I missed it all. But he was right there behind the tree, just eating in the in the uh, brush. And I just blew in behind him. And then all of a sudden he turned around and just went huffing her up the hill. So that would be the first bear I've ever seen here. There, I know there was a moose last year, but in this area I've never seen a bear. So very cool, <laughs> very cool. Coming into our little channel here. It starts out nice and wide, but I remember it gets very narrow. I hope we can get it through there. Beautiful, beauty spot in here. Making progress. Just trying to pick the the route less, the least obstacle route. I can see I'm gonna be pushing, but it doesn't matter now. I'm already close enough to the shore that uh, I'm gonna get there one way or the other. and right in the, the the muck the muck is my water oh there we go okay camera off and keep on trucking well I've been doing this for a while Getting along. <laughs> if I can just get over to the shore, I think I can get over, but shoot, there's no way that I'm gonna get out of the canoe here for fear of quicksand. <laughs> oh boy. Backing up. I'm gonna try and get to the shore somehow. All right, I'm gonna make it the shore. <laughs> that was uh, that was grueling. I just scouted over here, and all I have to do is take off this corner, and I get back into a, a wider channel again. So I'm just gonna drag the canoe up and over, and I think I can pick up that channel and uh, I can see the lake, so almost there. We're gonna make it. And look at that. Yes. Right on. It's like uh, clear sailing. Oh, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> Not too quick. Whew. 
Okay, pick a channel and channel. Huh. Middle, left, or right? I'm going middle. Middle, middle, are you the winner? Even smaller than I remember. Okay. Well, let's catch a fish. Well, that sucked. <laughs> Second cast in Doug's Lake results in the lost hook. So I thought this would be a good time to show you. What I'm using. Half of you already know it's old wacky worms. Wacky worms, uh, Gary Yamamoto. If this interests you, there's a video I have uh, catching cooked bass from start to finish that talks all about that from tying the, the hook to uh, laying the fish. Well, we're on the board. So, there we go. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Smaller one. So that's the ticket. I just gotta let them sink down to the bottom. So. I'm just going to keep on fishing along here. I know I don't have to show you every fish. <laughs> it gets old. Just enjoying the day though. Beautiful day. I think it's only about uh, 9.30, 10 o'clock in the morning. I got up about uh, quarter to five this morning, so it feels like it's lunchtime. Anyway, carry on. Okay, watch that log up here. There's a turtle on top of it. See how close we can get to it before the turtle jumps off the log. Can you see that little shiny thing on that log over here? How oh, close. Oh, he's thinking, what's that big red thing coming? Mr. Turtle, what are you going to do? These are painted turtles here. They're getting awful close. Catching some sun. You're going to ruin your, ruin your sunbathing. Oh, we're getting ru there he goes. Woo! <laughs> So 
There he is. Just like that. Little guy. Another little guy. One more before uh, I turn the camera off. There it is. Yeah, a little bit better. Oh, turkey. Making me all wet. There he is. So I'm torn. Do I turn the camera off or do I leave it on? You see, if I turn it off, and then this cast is going to have the fish. And then what? Right? There it is. See that? And that's what I was doing all along. I turned the camera off and catch a fish. No fish, turn the camera off, fish. <laughs> well, at least you know I'm not a liar. Well, that's a good one. That's a better one. Hey? Eh? Huh. Bless me. Me too. Alright. Catch the other one. There it is. Oh. Yeah, scrappy. Scrappy. Stop making me wet. Oh, hey. That's a walleye. Look at that. Sorry for the noise. That's a walleye. Nice. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I just full lipped them and I saw its teeth. I wasn't even thinking about it. Nice one. Well, just as we uh, made our way in, we gotta make our way out again. I'm going to fight my way through this jungle and I'll meet you back in the main lake. Well, I'm back in the, uh, back in the main lake. I'm going to head up to uh, camp and grab my gear and uh, start making my way out. It was, uh, it was a good trip. Good little surprise getaway. Fun to surprise the guys. And uh, just enough to break the monotony of life. Now, I'll probably say goodbye when I get my gear at the camp here. I got this headwind, I'm gonna be fighting it all the way back. Sure, it worked out nice for me yesterday, but it's gonna be a bear today. So. Speaking of bears, 
That was cool. I don't know if I got a clip of the tail end or of him crashing through the bush or not, but regardless, that was super cool. Just cruising along. Another benefit of uh, being in a nice quiet canoe as opposed to a motorboat. You'd never see it in a motorboat, but I just snuck right up on him in the, in the canoe. And I thought it was a log at first because it was his hind end on the hill and then when he saw me he looked back and just bolted just crashing through the bush so i hope i have a clip not holding my breath i think i kind of freaked out and uh, hit the button twice or whatever he was gone before i was quick enough anyway so anyway see you at camp well back at camp and uh got my stuff all loaded up so I think I'm going to call it a uh, video here. I hope you liked it. Uh, I know I've been uh, making some of you watch some carving videos and stuff and it might not be your cup of tea. So I hope this uh, hit the spot for you. And uh, yeah, it's getting windy. So I'm going to put the camera away and then just bore right into the wind and uh, make my way out. If you're watching this video, I must have made it. So. All right. Thanks again, guys. See you in the next one. Out. about uh, 500 meters from the uh, the trail on the way out but I had to have one more cast that's the way to end the, the video see ya